Call me, Balboa. You can call me. Call me, Balboa. I'm waiting. You can call me. You can call me collect. Women love you. Men love you. Children love you. Women love you. Everybody loves you. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Rocky Balboa, the Italian, Italian Stallion versus Apollo Creed. Sound like a damn monster movie. <laughs> the best of all time. This is it, man. Are you ready? <laughs> What's up, Fortress Rollers? It's Manny Brandon, back with Manny's Fitness Fortress, the Citadel of Power. Guys, this is a really sad day today. Yesterday, actually, Saturday, I just found out, uh, Friday, that Apollo Creed, see, I'm, I'm calling him Apollo Creed. That's how much an indelible character that this guy was on our society, on pop culture. You know, um, Carl Weathers, this man was so iconic. We grew up quoting his punchlines and his uh, quotes and um, college and all this stuff, rushing out to go see the Rocky movies. Um, they were so inspirational, especially the uh, motivational training sequences. I just couldn't believe this. Um, the Predator, the Rocky movies, uh, my whole Ivan Drago, I will break you. There's, there's so many like indelible uh, images and so many indelible uh, sequences through our history and cinematic history. Those Rocky movies span the totality of several decades. Um, this is just a really sad day to hear that he had passed. He just did a commercial for uh, Fando, I believe the sporting, just last week and the week before, but today I found out that they pushed the uh, you know, commercial and the uh, ad company pushed the commercials up uh, to accommodate, to adjust for the actor's untimely death. But let's listen to a little bit of, um, a little bit more detail about, you know, what happened to this great, this great legend. Merle Weathers debuted on the silver screen in 1975 in the black exploitation film, Bucktown. What a skipping him up, Bill, I don't know. Oh but he became a star playing the cocky boxing champ Apollo Creed in the 1976 hit Rocky. What started out as a low-budget sleeper won three Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The whole world's gonna see the real Apollo Creed. Lightning fast and hard to catch. No plan, no job, and just business. Oh, Weathers appeared in three Rocky sequels, playing Rocky's nemesis, manager, and friend. The former linebacker with the Oakland Raiders earned a degree in drama from San Francisco State University. Wow. He said he was inspired to become an actor watching Sidney Poitier in the 1958 movie, The Defiant Ones. Didn't know that. Years later, Weathers starred in its TV remake. Along the way, he embodied the 80s strongman, sharing the big screen with Charles Bronson in Death Hunt. Just make it easy on yourself, can't you? And later, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Weathers also took charge of a small screen on shows like Fortune Dane and Tour of Duty. But one role Weathers felt gave him a chance to go deeper as an actor was Chief of Police in, in the Heat of the Night. The part allowed wow. him to grapple with tough social issues. Nah, I do remember seeing him in that. Weathers appeared in the show's last two seasons and said the more cerebral role was a happy break from years of back-breaking stunts. Wow. Now, alligator bit my hand. Oh, my God! Yeah. Weathers wow. found comic relief in his career as Adam Sandler's alligator-hating golf instructor, Chubbs Peterson, and Happy Gilmore. In Arrested Development, he played a penny-pinching acting coach. Wow. All I know is no chain coat. Wow. Do you want the chip? In 2019, Weathers found a new young audience in the popular Star Wars series, The Mandalorian, playing the leader of an intergalactic bounty hunter guild. He received an Emmy nomination for that role and directed many episodes of the show. It's always such a joy to provide entertainment for people who really enjoy what you do. He looked really Earl well. Weathers, an action star who lit up screens with heft, and heart. 
Wow. Like I said, guys, he uh, he looked really well on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. He looked really well on the commercial, the Fanduel commercial I saw. I was like, oh wow, this is Carl Weathers. I mean, he had his um, full pepper, saw a pepper beard, but he looked really well. Um, I saw something online, a headline or a post that said Carl Weathers cause of death. And um, I'm wondering if he didn't have some underlying issues or if there was some foul play even because the man looked great. He didn't look like there was anything wrong with him. I heard nothing in the news or media about you know, cancer or diabetes or any type of chronic illness. So um, that's interesting. I also um, know that uh, from some other information I read that he wanted to reprise a role in Rocky VI somehow in some type of um, sequences, like memory sequences, um, flashbacks, but Sylvester Stallone said no. I'm curious to why he said no. Carl Weathers said he actually wanted to be in the film, I guess, actually play the part of those past sequences, reenact them, and then have it put in there uh, subsequently, but um, I don't know why he said no, and uh, he should have you know, allowed him to do that, because that would have you know, not only made the movie more significant, but also just increase the engagement of the whole Rocky franchise, franchise in that Rocky number six. But um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Predator. And uh, Carl Weathers and um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's duo, that collab was just like iconic. It was so synergistic, synergistic. It was just, oh my goodness. Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that iconic uh, arm wrestling, air levitated arm wrestling uh, grass, hand grass. Um, that was awesome. I just, Brocky inspired so many, um, it was so inspirational in so many different times in my life, all the Rocky films that he was in. The first one, second one, he was just such a flamboyant and boisterous and energetic and dominant and a powerful character on screen, his own screen presence. And I identified with that in my bodybuilding career and my you know, athletic endeavors. And every time I hit the gym, you know, it was either Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, or iconic roles from awesome movies like like Carl Weathers playing, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Apollo Creed. Like I said, Apollo Creed, just iconic roles and iconic sequences and iconic uh, one-liners and scenes and lines that he said that were just indelible, like Apollo Creed versus the Italian Stallion. Sound like a damn monster movie. He really, uh, you know, captured the attention of the audiences worldwide and. Man, I just, I just, this is just a heartbreaker. I just did not expect this. Uh, man wasn't limping or nothing. No, heard about no, no significant ailments or chronic illnesses in, in the media. So hopefully, uh, you know, we'll get more details later. They said he died peacefully in his sleep. And um, that's optimally the way that we all want to go. But I want to take a moment of silence for Carl Weathers. All right, and definitely, you will be missed. You're a true legend, and definitely rest in peace. We love you, and you'll be severely missed. Thanks for watching, you guys. Tune in next time for Manny's Fitness Fortress.